Hi, my name is Brian Slomovitz. I'm the Medical Director of Cancer Research here at the Carol G. Simon Cancer Center. I'm also a gynecologic oncologist, and I'm the Associate Director of the Women's Cancer Center here at Atlantic Health. I consider myself a cancer researcher, or a clinical cancer researcher. Uh, what that really entails, in my mind, is not only offering excellent clinical care for the patients that we treat, but a part of that clinical care is to offer them the, the latest in clinical trials and ways to not only uh, be satisfied with the current treatment options that we have, but really to make them better for our patients. In a field like oncology and gynecologic oncology, that's critically important. We're really never satisfied in, in the survival curves or the outcomes that we have. We always want to improve upon them. Recently, we've taken part in two trials for patients with ovarian cancer that not only focus on getting rid of the, of the sickness or getting rid of the cancer, but really trying different ways to keep it away. One disease that we treat, endometrial cancer, is, has sort of been under-recognized and under um, under-researched as a disease. Many women suffer from the disease. It's actually the most common gynecologic cancer that we deal with. Over 40,000 women each year suffer from endometrial cancer. And there really are no approved therapies to help treat those patients with recurrent disease. One of our initiatives is really to have a, a comprehensive endometrial cancer clinical trials research program where we're not only writing our own trials, we're working with national cooperative groups in leading some trials, and we're also working closely with pharmaceutical companies in being able to use their newer therapies and giving them to patients, um, really it, it, to give the patients in this area the first opportunity to be treated with some of these drugs. In Atlantic Health, if we have a new treatment trial that we'd like to open, it takes us about two to three months to open. At other institutions I've been at, this process can take from six to 12 months. It's really, um, we have a nice streamlined process in working with our research administration, our, our hospital leaders who give, who give us the complete support, and really the patients in the community in wanting to be in these trials as soon as possible. Moving forward, when we look about what type of research program that we want to further develop, we want to continue to bring in the best trials for our patients in order to better treat the disease, and we really want to translate those trials into best standard of care. Um, ultimately, if we can get to the point that we're offering the, the best treatments for our patients, um, that includes not only good treatment outcomes and decreasing the effect of the disease, but also improving quality of life and making them as comfortable as possible.